you've got another wire there. Over there. And re and package ready to go. Right, so what we're doing here is putting the radials in for something called a four square. It's four verticals and they have a special box in the middle which you switch various relays to do clever things and it will squirt the RF in one of the off the off the corners okay so it's it's not perpendicular it's off the diamond and so each vertical needs its own radial set I don't quite sure if I'm going to get one off this that's the end of that one so what we've done is we've got seven meter radials and 24 of them for each of the verticals then there's going to be intersecting radials so for instance that is our southeast bottom of our southeast vertical so if we follow this radial here eventually you'll find it will cross over look so what we will do eventually is rather than trying to calculate everything <laughs> We will cut these and join them, all right? We do here? Yeah. You're going out too far, mate. Back there, where you just... Yeah, it should, it's, it's there, right? So, oh, there's one here, but isn't that too far? Yeah, so come in, uh, come in halfway. Yeah, that's it. So the process we used is, we've used about seven reels of DX10. So it's quite an expensive project. And I settled on 24 radials, not 32 or 16. Frankly, because it's quite easy to work out a clock face and then every half hour. So that's why we've gone 24 radials at seven meters each, which comes out seven, 800 uh, meters. And then we went round beforehand with a um, spray paint. To be honest, I thought it was uh, biodegradable spray paint. But on the tin it said permanent. Anyway, so if you can have a go at me at that. But gradually it will kind of wear off and it will grow out. And, and that sort of thing. And that's all we're doing. Have I missed one by accident? Is that uh, too far? No, it's about right. Okay. That looks about right. Oh, okay. Yeah? Found it here, yeah. Yeah, the ground's very soft here, mate. So then the next job after this, of course, is we've got to get on our hands and knees, put fork connectors on, connect them all up. Only when they're completely connected up will we be able to, you know, to that plate there, which is all drilled out and everything, fork, fork connectors galore. But once this is on, we'll put a big rubber mat on there. That, that works really well, and it allows the mower to go around and that sort of thing. And it will protect the, the vertical bases, particularly if I spray some wax oil and that sort of thing. Now you can see that I started the clock face doing these quite big arcs, but soon realized it would probably run out of um, spray paint. So I went to dots in the end and that worked quite well. So we just did like, we started with like 12 o'clock, six o'clock, three o'clock, nine o'clock, and then kind of just kind of guessed where one and two o'clock was and then where Half past one, half past two, half past three was, so on, so on, and we end up with 24. But because one day I might want to load this up, the centre of where the Yagi is, oh, up there somewhere, I wanna, might want to make that 80 metres, so I'm going to bring all the radials to the middle here, and then send four out, and they will come along, and they will cross over right past here, join it all together and heat shrink it, so I'm trying to make a, as big a radial, you know, mat as I can. Right now it's 40 metre four square. So that will give me amazing front to back. 
I think I can't remember. It's more than 10 dB. Right, so I'll try and find a graph somewhere on the internet, and it'll give me a sort of about 5 dB forward gain. But the thing is, the front to back. So if I do, I'm trying to contact the USA from here to get another three to six dB gain is great. But also, I can't hear what's behind me. So that means that the 100 watt station in the US, I'll be able to hear better because it's like cutting all the shit crap out behind me. So that is 300 degrees, I think, give or take. And then another 90 degrees further around will take us to um, basically north east. So that, that's my short path to VK and Rowley in New Zealand. Over here is south east, so that'll be, um, you know, Europe, uh, Cyprus, that sort of thing. And then over here we've got um, kind of Falkland Islands, Brazil, that sort of thing. Or long path VK ZL. Now, lucky for me, I've got Martin who's come down to help. Martin's a bit of a four square expert, actually, he's installed these all over the world. And um, so we've managed to fly him in from Poland uh, to do actually. Mark Martin, he just lives around the corner, and I'm actually fooling with him and you. Uh, none of us are experts at anything around here, apart from, well, I'm quite good at sticking up towers. So Yagi's been uh, working fine, although it's on the skew with. And Martin's got a few days off, so he's kind of helping around because we've got so many, so much to do, you know. It's, uh, how are we going to switch it? We're going to use the uh, Genius software. You've seen it on a, on a last video, but that will come all the way down to here from the, the big cabinet up there, which I'll show you in a minute. The wire already exists all the way down to here, and there's a little control box. Each of the verticals has its own feeder, it's 75 ohm feed line, quarter wave, less velocity factor, all that stuff. And then we we have to run another line to a dummy load, right? It's called the dump power uh, because any very slight imbalance has got to go somewhere, so it goes to um, a small dummy load. Shouldn't get more than 100 watts on full power. On 1500 watts, you might get up to 100 watts um, of this dump power. So I think the moral of the story, if you are putting radials down, I thoroughly recommend getting a friend to help you because Martin's been able to, you know, go at the base and I can get real wire and just walk around with it. And that DX stands lovely because when you cut it and it lays on the floor, it doesn't all springy wingy back again. So there we are. Well, let's finish this job and then I've got something to show you. So the next one should be about here. Mate, I can't find it. I'll, I'll see. I'll see. Should be another two. Yeah, okay. Let's yeah, have a look. I don't know. It should be about here, but I can't find the yellow dot. I got, oh, there's a yellow dot here. Is that too far? Right, we'll do that one. And I'll go in the middle. I'll start with that north one as one. One two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty four twenty five twenty six all right okay well doesn't matter let me just space them out we got two more than we needed so the next big job is is uh bearing in mind there is 96 radials here is we'll need about 400 radial pins the ones that martin's been using i'll just show you that we sell these so these um in 18 months will basically turn kind of to paper and just disappear so they're not actually plastic but they are biodegradable so i reckon we probably need five or six per radial so 96 radials i need probably 400 of them so and it's just cooling down we got a funny feeling it might be raining so we got these just down in time let me show you this cabinet okay because uh you know, it's pretty cool actually and what i might do is ask martin to film i'll go inside and press some buttons out all right so uh four square so this is the software and I've got you can't see me because I'm just recording the microphone. We've got young Martin out there getting soaking wet. But as you can see, when I click around the relays, right, I've got northwest, northeast, southeast, and southwest. And Martin, who's getting wet, is demonstrating that for you. So that's the 40 meter four square. I could have that on my right ear or my left ear. 
uh, but not on Radio 3 and 4. OK, so that's how that works. Let's go and rescue Martin from the wet. I am not sealing the ends of 96 radials. I'll let the water very gradually suck up. It's not coax. There'll still be a bit of copper in there in, well, way past my bedtime. All right, see you at the open day, August the 16th, 12 o'clock, lunchtime on the Saturday. Be there or be square. All the best now.